Hello, Blast Eyes Dudu is here and this is Mass Effect 1. Last time we recruited this bro here, Garrus Vicarian. And I wonder if I have to put Rex in here actually. Or I wanna also change up some of the guns because I noticed from last time. Where's K no Caden? Caden you've got a too good a sniper rifle. Yeah, go I'll give that sniper rifle. There you go, Gas has got a sniper rifle now. Um, trying to think how you change up your squad. Because I might put them wet accidentally. I don't worry about it. I won't, I won't have Rex with me anyway. We are now going after Fist. Because he has information about the Rogue Spectre Seven. Well, actually, he's taking a quarry and uh, the thing we're trying to go save her. Uh, hopefully, the flames won't hurt too long. Sorry, I had a bit of cat fell on me. Anyway, let me get him ready. Nope, wrong less powers. Yeah, it's Guys, I want that like cover. I'm trying to do, Caden. So I was focusing again anyway. That is interesting. Hopefully you'll let me do this quick. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse work. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like this anyway. I never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. As you can see, because I had hard enough power gone, I could just tell them to go away and without having to kill them. Anyway, let's try and see if we can hack this. Oh, good. Let me just quickly put on the new weapons. I'll give you the new sniper. Oh, oh yeah, you have that old one. The one thing I'm going to switch to my pistol. Actually, I think my... Yeah, I have my pistol on. What you want to do is take out them tarts and then this thing will start. Don't kill me, I surrender. Where's the quarry? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. You better start explaining before I lose my temper. The quarry isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Impossible. The shadow broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the shadow broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. 
Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you I never want to see you again. Is that clear? Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Ooh, what could it be? That'd be quick. Oh, bugger. Here we go, quick. See, that's what you need. That's Oops, I accidentally changed my... It's not my life. That's stupid. Hopefully I'll get a new one. Now tell me. Stick your head out, you dick. I'm on it. Where's that last thing? No, I still need to get rid of my gun, how stupid am I? Anyway. Oh. I'm interested in my... Hey, I said switch. Thank you. Just the suck. Okay, I know. But we want to head to the... the star no! Fuck's sake. Sorry. There we go, I go through this door here. And now... We've made it. I'll be quite free to see him now. Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. Same there. Don't want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Cora's Den. Do you know how many? Who is this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Polly. Polly Dora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. 
I tracked a patrol of death to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believed. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Proteans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present the Council right away. What about her? The quarry. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. There we go, and now I've got the evidence, I'm going to quickly level up my characters and then touch some loose ends. Um, Why not? I'll help him out. Be nice. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. <clears throat> Let's quickly do this quest, this shouldn't be too long, it's a simple one. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. 
A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Uh, a I'm tempted, but I don't know. Oh. No, I'm not going to be a dick. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Who have been fooled is just let, let, not let him have his wife's body. I'm not that kind of person. Anyway, I'll quickly tell him. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. You go give that data disk to Emily Wong and then head back to the Citadel. Um, that's quick if I want to get there. Dad, I'm recording. Go away. These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this file? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Sorry. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Quite a bit, and uh, I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Let's pretty head to the tower then. Just to prove that Sarah's a traitor.
Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the gift of memory. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the proteins. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are God, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for them. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Seven's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We will be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull. Ambassador. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleet or army. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Branch of Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank of fire. Spectres are an idea, symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Captain. We're sending you into the Traverse after Seth. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned.
Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training. You should go down to the C-Sec Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisition Office. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Saren, so, now a human speckler. And on that note, I'm gonna... Or is it me? Let's get the... the um, and on that note, I'm gonna nip to the fear. See you guys next time. Bye.